All right, what's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? This might be a tough one. But I gotta say it. Your family doesn't really give a F about you and your desires. And that's hard to say even, but it's true. That doesn't mean they don't love you. That doesn't mean that they don't want the best for you, you know? But a lot of times the love ain't really hitting the way it's supposed to in, in your immediate close family and it's the people closest to you and you're just like left kind of confused. So let me break this down for y'all a little bit. You, you've got just about as much love as you're going to get from your family and be happy for what you got. Real deal. Real spill, man. So, it is now your responsibility, no pressure, to give yourself the love that you need, the support that you need, to make sure that you go those the, all of those dreams become true all of that support that you need like you have to give that to yourself you know that feeling where you just kind of want somebody to coddle you hold you hug you like like as if you were a baby show that love to you tell you everything's going to be okay This is tough. I'm sorry, but that's that's your job now. For you. That's your that's your job now. That's that's up to you now. And it's not easy. It's um it's actually quite difficult. But I'm just, I just wanted to let y'all know and break it down for you guys. Like, a lot of the times, people will say that they love you, say that they, they got your back. But it's really not as genuine as you would want it to be. And it's cool. Because like I said, like I just said, be happy that anybody is willing to talk to you at all. At all. And just know that it is your responsibility to respect yourself, to love yourself, and to cultivate good energy around yourself. That's completely your responsibility. But if you're not cultivating and setting the boundaries and, and, and setting of what to expect... If you haven't explained to the people that are in your circle what to what what way that you need them to be acting like for your boundaries, for your betterment, then you don't need those people around you. You know what I mean? If you, if you haven't and especially if you haven't talked to them about it, how do you how do you expect them to know? what to you know what I mean what what the expectations are so th like I said this is kind of a tough one to speak on because everybody's situation is a little bit different but I, basically the point that I want to make to you guys is it's up to you to create that loving energy even though you may not be receiving that loving energy in the way that you would like it to be coming from the outside. And that's really important, man. You got to embrace yourself. Embrace the way that you truly feel. Instead of always running from your feelings. Always trying to... Always trying to change yourself. 
I feel like there's always this expectation, especially from parents and stuff, that they they want you to become a doctor, become a lawyer, become this 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 version of yourself that does doesn't it's not that it doesn't exist cuz there's a version out there that exists in every light right but it's not who you want to be you got to kind of like dig deep and find out like is this the version of me that I want to be and if it's not you got to step into that and if it's not something that you're used to like you might need help you might need help to become that that person because what I've learned is your surroundings do affect you. It's hard to not let them get to you. It, I think it's almost impossible. I don't like using that word because anything is possible. You can make any you can make you can make some good things come from from the dirt, you know, from nothing. But if there's always somebody telling you that you're not worth anything, you you got to have enough faith in yourself to know that that's not true. And a lot of times your family will try to paint you to be something that you're not comfortable being. And they'll even tell you, I'm proud of you when you decided to go and do nursing classes or doctor's classes and there's nothing against doctors and nurses. We need all of y'all and appreciate and love all of you guys. But if that's not what you want to do, that's not what you want to create, that's not the life you want to live, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because until you're gone, they're not going to care. And then they then they really don't care. So Remember that you got to, it's your responsibility to do the work and ask yourself, is this what I truly want? Is this the life I truly want to live? And if no, align yourself and put put yourself in circles where it is. And it may be scary because all you know, all you know is to accept what you can get. But just know that there's more out there for you. That's been put inside my heart to let you guys know that there's more out there for you. But you have to give yourself the love first. You have to embrace yourself first. You have to learn to love yourself first, even if that's hard. Even if you are upset with yourself. Even if you are not sure about yourself even if you feel like it should have been done by now you feel like you should have already learned yourself by now 
Well, let me let y'all know something. People change, and you have the right to as well. So maybe you did learn yourself, but you evolved from that. So there's still more learning to do no matter what. No matter what stage you're at, there's still learning for you to do. And maybe that's why you're not getting along with the people that you call your family. A lot of us are not, we're just looking to be entertained. We're not looking for education. We're not looking for knowledge. We're not looking for wisdom to improve the way that our life is going. I am, and I know you are, but you have to be okay and accept the fact that the people in your family may not. And that may be a tough thing to accept, but just know that I'm here with you, you're not alone, and I got your back. Until next time, peace.